Hello everyone. So today we're going to look at the Airbus A330 by Jar Design. Now this is quite an expensive aircraft. It costs more than the base game just for this one aircraft. It does come with ground handling deluxe, which works only with this aircraft. So we're just going to put on a little bit more fuel. And we're going to show you a cold and dark start with this aircraft. Just before I do, I wanted to show you my joystick controls for this aircraft. Because you may find, if you don't do these modifications, the back of the plane will go absolutely crazy without you even touching anything. So let's have a quick look. You click on keyboard, essentials. Have a look at trim in the left and right and the pitch up and down and see if there is a keyboard command selected for both. If there is, remove it. If you are having difficulty with your A330, you may find that this will help. Also, I just wanted to show you my joystick and control sensitivity. This aircraft is very different to the aircraft in the base game. And under control response, I have all of that set to 20%. And I have the stability set to 20%. If you are having difficulty, you may want to try that. Click down and we'll jump back to the aircraft. We'll send this little fuel truck away. And we will begin the cold and dark start. Now we can see everything is off. So we have no GPU connected. This is a cold and dark start without any help or assistance. So we're just going to go up onto the roof and we're going to have a look at the electrical. First thing to turn on is battery one, battery two, and then we wait a few moments. Now we've got some things lighting up. We've got APU battery. We click that on. Then we go down. We click on the APU bleed. We can put on the probe window heat. And we can click on the APU master switch. And we also then can click start. Now we want to go up a little bit further towards the fuel section. Four buttons to click. One on L1, one on L2. We're clicking on fuel R1, and then we're clicking on fuel R2. Now, on the very top left of the screen, we've got the ADIRF. It is very important that we select these switches to ATT, ATT, and then ATT. They must all go to ATT first, and then they go back to NAV, back to NAV, and then back to NAV. Now you can turn on all of your lights, but for the moment we're just going to concentrate on getting this aircraft in the air. But most of your light switches are here if you want to turn them on. So if we go back down towards the bottom, we have an engine start switch. We just want to select that to start. We won't put on the engines just yet. We want to move up to here. We've got the communications switch. We're going to click that to on. We've got the radio switch. We're going to put that on to initialize. Now we've got here no plan installed. So we're going to put one in. We'll click on menu and then flight plan and then initialize. So then put in here S V G L and we'll put in a slash and then we'll put in the Y S S Y. Now your flight plan can be whatever you like. I'm just putting something in to get it started. Then we'll click on from two and then we'll click on align IRF. We're clicking align IRS. It should say soon in here. IRS in align in seven minutes. So now that is all. Excellent. Now we're just going to go back down to here. And we're going to put our parking brake. Park brake off. We're going to have a little look at our dials. Now at the moment the engines are not started. We're going to start 
doing that. We've got engine one. We're going to select starting engine one. one. And we can see some movement. We're going to go back down here and we're going to go to engine two. Starting engine two. two. So we'll go outside the aircraft in a few moments and just have a look to see how that's going. We're going to push VFD button just to turn that off. Now, we did talk about the lights before. While we're waiting, we might as well turn some of the lights on. We'll put on the strobe, we'll put on the beacon, we'll put on our wing light, and we'll put on our logo light. And while we're at it, we can put on our nose light, we'll put a no smoking sign on, and we'll put a seatbelt sign on. The captain has turned on the phantom seatbelt sign. And we'll go back down, and we can see everything is starting to light up and be initialized. All of our LCDs are operational, so we just need to jump outside the plane and have a look to see if our engines are actually running. We want to see them spinning, and what can we see? We can see engine 1 spinning, we can see engine 2 spinning. So we're just going to jump back into our aircraft. Now if you haven't tried it, if you've ever tried to take off this aircraft with the anti skid switch off, you may find it very difficult to control on the runway. What I do, however, turn on is the brake fan switch. So just for takeoff, I've been putting the brake fan switch on. Um, now, everything is ready to go. We've got the parking brake off, so we're going to try and do takeoff now. The cold and dark start is at the point where we can actually get the aircraft to move. So we'll push F2 on a keyboard. We won't do full throttle immediately. Just going to do a small amount of throttle and just check that the engines are spinning up. When the seatbelt sign illuminates, you must fasten your seatbelt. Okay, so the aircraft is now moving gently along the runway and we can put down the full throttle. Once we've put down the full throttle, the aircraft will start to move. We've got full throttle. We can turn off the two lights, letting us know that the throttle is down. Power set. We can turn off the auto throttle button. And our aircraft is moving. Now we just want to have a quick look at our speed. And when this aircraft hits around about 150, you'll be able to take off to the air. From 150 to 180, this aircraft will take off. Positive climb. Once you're in the air, you can push G, gear up, the keyboard, and we are away. See our gears going away there now. We have a positive climb. And at the moment we're just leaving Rio de Janeiro Airport. In the A330 Airbus. What a really fun plane to fly this is. It can take quite a while to work out how to start this aircraft. But once you know, you can get the aircraft up in the way, and you can begin Standard your Standard Barrow cross-check. Passing flight level zero, really two, zero. So that's the cold and dark start for the Airbus A330. Need to check, sir, if everything is okay with the light. So we're just landing the A330 Airbus now. It is possible to land this aircraft. It is very slow and heavy. If you do those joystick controls, you'll find that it is a lot more responsive. We've got our gears out. Coming in for the landing. I do not 
have the A320 yet, so I cannot compare between the A330 and the A220. I believe this one is a little more stable and less susceptible to turbulence. So as we're coming in, we'll have a look at how we're going. What it looks like flaps too. in the cabin. What it looks like from outside. Just manually hand flying this aircraft. Flaps full. So this is with no ILS and this is without any form of autopilot. Autopilot is on, it's just been hand flown in. You can see we've got a nice rate of descent. We're coming in. We're coming in. Have a look at those wheels. Two back ones down, a bit bouncy, and then the front ones down. We have got that plane on the ground. Throw out the reverses. Let us go down the runway a little bit. And we can apply our brake. But what a really fun aircraft. And yes, it is possible to land it. So Next landing should be good, sir. There you go, the A320 Airbus. Thank you for watching.